if you take a child and they have scoliosis and you do a fusion surgery on that child, that child generally is able to still palm the floor, put their palms on the floor. And the question is, why are they able to do that and why aren't adults able to do that? And there's a difference. The ability to bend over is dependent upon hip function. Most of the ability to flex at the waist comes from the hip joints. Each lumbar disc only accounts for seven degrees range of motion. So if you immobilize one disc level, that's seven degrees. So they essentially won't have any impairment of range of motion. The only time they're gonna have impairment of range of motion if they have muscles that are tight or bad hips. So it, you can't get hung up on range of motion of the lumbar spine because one, that's an aging phenomenon, that's a reflection of muscles, that's a reflection of hip pathology. Every patient that comes in and they have a spine fusion operation, they ask, how much motion am I gonna lose, okay? Most patients at, before surgery have an inhibited range of motion. Because they have pain, they can't move their neck properly. After surgery, what we find is the range of motion is improved as opposed to not improved because one, their pain is decreased and now they can get appropriate range of motion and it's in a, a painless fashion. And we also do, we also try to accelerate that by doing some low level laser therapy, not only on the incision to help the scar heal properly, but also to decrease the muscle spasms so people regain their range of motion faster.